Oh, that one felt good. That one felt like a hard thump. Welcome on back, fishing freaks. I'm sitting here at the tailgate right there at the adventure wagon. I've been getting stuff packed, and it is uh, the time of day where we go and collect our eggs. So we're gonna go do that in our little cute basket. Isn't that just cute? And we got a couple of Easter eggs, you know? It's like a little Easter egg hunt over here. Speaking of chickens, last video, I know some of y'all, you know, you feel bad for Martha. Um, I think I think somewhere in the video I said, you know, y'all pray for Martha. I don't know who did, but y'all, for the first time in, uh, well, ever, she today, she has laid a full, complete egg. So Martha, if you keep this up, it's gonna be all good in the chicken hood, okay? And the reason I know it was Martha that laid this egg is because we have two dorkings and there are two dorking eggs inside of the nesting box today. Martha, come on now. Come on now, get back on in here. Wabam! Oh my gosh, today is a record egg laying day, y'all. So we had a big pressure drop. The weather has changed. It got down into the low 70s this morning. It's been overcast. I think it just made all these, these chickens just want to drop eggs. We've never had this many eggs before. And there's, looks like one from almost every speed or every breed that we have. So since it's kind of a mix up in the weather, that's always good for fishing. And I want to take this opportunity and go do some evening crappie fishing. Both of my big green lights that I've been waiting on are now in, so I'm gonna take the power cells out of the boat, plug them in, and we're gonna see what comes up to these lights. Hopefully it's some fat, juicy crappies. But right now, let's secure our eggs, y'all. Look how cool, look how beautiful. This is so cool, I gotta tell you, Fruits of the labor, pretty awesome. And we got, uh, this, this one's name is Carrot. She is a wine dot. She's not laying yet, but she's extremely motherly and very protective of the eggs. So, sorry. I'm gonna have to take these. I'm gonna have to take these. Excuse me. Make the omelets with your little balls of joy. Now what we do here, y'all, I use an app on my phone to monitor my eggs. It's called Flockstar. This is gonna be a record day, seven eggs. And it's gonna be a record for Martha first day without a damaged egg, so we're hitting all kinds of milestones. Speaking of apps and milestones, I would also like to tell you guys about something we got going on with Guggen Baits right now. Uh, any of y'all that enjoy using our Guggen Baits, soft plastics, uh, the Mondo Worm, the Trench Hog, the Bandito Bug, some of the best selling baits that we have, uh, we've come out with junior sizes and we've never done this before, but we're doing a sale right now on the junior sizes They're just coming out if you guys haven't downloaded the Guggen Squad app. I will link it down below uh, I'll also link GuggenSquad.com so you can put it on your phone But you can go to the website and it is uh, we're running a sale right now So you can get get the baits uh, cheaper than you would normally on our website and get some of those juniors in your hands They are awesome uh, spectacular for this time of year going into this little fickle fall late summer transition just a quick fishing tip I like the big sizes uh, late spring and then going into the post spawn and through summer that's when those baits really do well the bass are hungry they're kind of strung out from the spawn they've been using a lot of energy they're looking for big profile baits and as always if you're fishing a place that has big fish or they're accustomed to uh, eating those bigger baits, it's good to throw. But same thing with these. On the junior sizes, there's places where they really don't eat bigger baits. So, on, and the junior craws, the junior bandito bugs, um, oh my gosh, the, the smaller Mondo worm, the, it's seven and a half inches, it is perfect. And I'm not kidding y'all, the first time I went out and tried these baits, I threw some of them on shaky heads, I caught some absolute hog jammers on them and unfortunately but they've been in short supply for for me too so they're just coming available just online literally link down below get you some they're even on sale which almost never happens with Google baits use code lfg at checkout for bigger discount okay go get you some tasties martha martha you are laying the juices oh ladies and gentlemen 
We've got about 30 minutes till the sun is completely down and then it's time to get our lights on. Now this is the one that I've been meaning to show y'all. I got a, got a little one that I showed in the video the other day. Does not say the watts on here. Apologize. But just for comparison, see the size of those. The big one I think is five or six times brighter than the other one. My plan, which a fishing plan almost never works out. But my plan is to get fairly close to uh, some of the marinas out here on the lakes. A lot of the crappie and bass too uh, live up under those marinas during the summer. Um, they stay deep under there because of the shade, but at night they'll kind of ease out a little bit. So if you got an attractor, they might come up and I don't know, this is an experiment, but I'm just going on this theory. I'm just going to be fishing like some crappie jigs and if I see bass, I mean, I'm going to throw some bass lures. Why not? So, you know what? Speaking of bass, I think I'm just going to throw a topwater around just for a minute to see if anything will come up. Might as well do that before it gets really dark. Oh, and the power today. Oh, sorry. Sorry, boat. Sorry, silver bullet. To power today, we're uh, we're going with the the 500 watt Jackery. So it's got it's got a, a, a DC plug, DC plugs right here. All right, we got some shad popping in. Oh, I just saw a bass explode on. Oh yeah, there's some shabby that are getting fed on up in here. Oh, there's little pods. Oh, this water's 88 degrees. I don't think this is gonna be the juicy pops here. Oh my. Well, just come on up there and get you one while I'm stringing up my crappie pole, why don't you? Okay. I need to find my light bar. Where is that thing? This little double piece here. That's special. Wow. Okay, screw that in. Oh, there's one. Oh, God, he took my worm. Boy, he mega blasted it though. I'll be back for you, my friend. Back for you, man. I may have to switch up to a Mondo on them. Kind of just want to get me a big old green one to sniff on this little sundown bite here till we get that big light out. If you guys don't mind, I'm just gonna savor the flavors here. There's a hog jammer. Oh, god, that's a big one. That's a very big one. I know it's dark. You guys can't see, but that's a very big one. Oh, yep. Oh, you're, really, you're not as big as I thought, but oh, four and three quarter. Nice fish, y'all. Mondo worm. Got her done, full size. Not the junior tonight. Look how fat that fish is, healthy. Okay, well, looks like they're gonna be biting in the dark tonight. Good stuff. Let's so let this fish go back into the waters. That fish was in probably like 18 foot, so kind of deep, but just started biting as soon as the sun went down. She baby. Bear with me as we try to film in the dark here, but first fish, first sniff, make it count. It was a big one, y'all. A certified fatty. Rare to catch one that fat. Um, when it's summertime like this and the water's 
literally 87.3 degrees. Now we're gonna break out our lights. I wanna see what is gonna come up to these uh, lights. You know, I've seen dock fishing lights that have been loaded with big bass and crappie at uh, a number of different lakes. Uh, it's a popular thing to do in the summertime, so if y'all have lakes around you um, that have nighttime dock lights, it's a, it's a sneaky little good thing. Uh, the one thing that we're probably going to run into is, is line. They like light line because your line is being illuminated by light. Um, and sometimes you got to go with small baits, but we'll see. Let's go give it a dangle. We're, gonna, we're just going to go ahead and get that big one. Okay, I'm simply just going to drop this down. Oh gosh, one just hit the top over there. Yeah, that's probably about 10 feet or so. Then we're gonna plug it in and hopefully get some serious light. Oh, yeah. So there is actually the light right there. It's about 12 foot down, it looks like. And I'm already getting some shad that are starting to come up to it that I can see, so this is interesting. Hopefully we can get these right here to come on up. Oh, got one on it. Ooh, bluegill. That's bluegill. Well, it's not the juicies we're looking for. Oh, got him. What do we got? Oh, gill crappie, tiny crappie. I want your big, ugly sister. Hmm, man, Andy poked me. That is a tiny one there. I thought I thought a lot of these were bluegill. There's just like a swarm of them right there, you know. So I've only got the light a few feet down. Like it's it's about five feet. Oh man, I might want to put the reel in the reel seat. How about that? A little pro tip, you know. Before you go fishing, make sure to fully seat your reel. All right, let's see if we can get another one here. Oh gosh, that's got to be a gar. Look at that big old long hot dog thing. That is a gar. Look at that. Oh gosh, I just got bit again. Oh, mm, got him. That's gotta be it. Just another tiny crappie. Goodness gracious. That is a five pound bass Snickers bar if I've ever seen one. Mm, mm, mm. You got some growing up to do to be a 10 incher, sir. What's up, boys? Stabbing some long ones tonight? Mm -hmm. Crappies. Oh, crappies? Yeah. Name? Justin. Are you, you do YouTube? Yeah, I do. Good to meet you. Yeah, you guys be safe. Stick some good ones. Um, these are actually coming to the light, and they are swarming on it. I mean, they're, I think the better strategy is to keep your light up high and let them come to it. Question is, where are the hog jammers? So I'm going to back out of right here and I'm going to jump to the next slip. Oh, there's one. Oh, a little better, but you ain't the one. That bass I caught earlier, y'all, would just, I'm telling you, see this thing and eat it like it was a freaking stack of pancakes on a Sunday morning. There's not even a breath of wind. I feel like when I whisper, all the fish can hear me. That's how quiet it is. But I just snuck around to my third or fourth slip and I saw a bunch of stuff when I first pulled up in here, like at the surface. I don't know if they were bluegill or crappie, but we're about to find out. Mm. Come on now. Oh gosh, I see one right here. I see one. He's coming. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're right here. They're right here. They're right here. They're at the surface. We've got him up top. He just bit it. Oh my gosh. You can see him. I can see the crappie like two feet down. Oh, they're just, they're just nipping it. They're just nipping it. This is insane. Oh, got him. Oh gosh, why can't you be a keeper? Dad got it. They got some daggone spiky ones, these little ones. Seem to be running into this issue, y'all. There's just a lot of these down there. I mean, I could see dozens and dozens and dozens of them. 
and they're so much more active at night. It's crazy. Like normally I'm used to catching crappie. They're very uh, still, you know, you gotta get the lure right in front of them and uh, leave it very still. And then like now I'm getting to watch them coming up the surface and eat. And they got that big old eye. It's great for seeing in low light. So <sighs> they're just a different animal at night. Yeah, there's some activity in this little slip right here. I'm just gonna drop on in. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. These crappie are right here. Subsurface got him. <laughs> Holy cow, they're right here at the surface. They're just not big. Now that one's like eight inches. That's getting close. Oh my gosh, there's more right here. There's more right here. Right under my boat. Oh, got him. Oh, daggum. Not a keeper. Oh gosh, got him right there at the surface. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. A topwater crappie bite. God, you guys are just so little. Man, they like these lights. Boy, I was just like dabbling it right here. Oh, God. Come off. Dead cow. Mm, got another one. Dead cow. Y'all, this is just straight, straight dangle. Oh, that one felt good. That one felt like a hard thump. Mm, got him. That's not a big one. Mm -hmm. God. Y'all, I give up. There's another one. <sighs> Close, but no cigar. Grow up, drink your milk. Y'all are just still on the nipple. Got your diapers on. Need to graduate. Oh my gosh. Got him. No, not a keeper. Okay, let's try switching up our colors. Let's go with like a, just a bright, shiny minnow color. There we go. I've had the green light on. Got a 16th ounce of jig head on here. I'm just gonna kinda poke it over the side. Oh, got him. Yeah. Little buddy. Oh, nailed it every time. Getting a little bigger. <laughs> That'll get him activated. There's literally one that's just not moving. Just sitting right under me. Hello. Oh my gosh. Look at these crappie right here. Hello. God, right underneath me. Unbelievable. Verdict on the light, y'all. It absolutely works. I've got crappie hovering. You know, once I've had this thing on for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, I've got crappie hovering. Um, and I've only put it, you know, about three or four feet below the surface. And you can literally fish those shadows that you're seeing and just keep it above them and catch the fish. But problem is they're just not very big. There's a lot more homework to do with these lights. I mean, the, the crappie become a whole different fish at night. And unlike the bass, um, I haven't seen any bass come all the way up to the light. I've seen some dark shadows. The crappie will just sit right in it. And the minnows are attracted to it. I mean, you guys can see on uh, on the down, or not the down, interesting. what am I talking about? Thank you, whoever said that, the panoptics. You can see there's a ton of fish down there, but I, I just don't think I'm gonna get any big ones. The lights 100% work if y'all are interested in going and doing that. I, I would like to see, I'm, I'm interested to see how it would do from the bank. Like I thought about maybe doing, doing it with catfish, just plugging it in, throwing it out there and using it as a catfish light and throwing some you know, range cubes or something to get catfish to come in and maybe even seeing them from, from the shoreline. That's an idea right there. And I know what some of you are thinking, you're like, Dude, you caught like four and a half pound bass and then you're going and catching micro crappies. What are you doing? That's a valid point. And the LFG of 10 years ago, five years ago maybe even, would have gone and probably fished for nighttime bass for like two and a half, three hours. Just, you know, throwing a big old spinnerbait, throwing a mondo worm, bumping stumped, 
trying to get those big fish in, but I've bass fished so much and recently discovering crappie and discovering other species too. I just want to become a more complete angler and tonight I thought was an opportunity to learn uh, fishing for crappies at night and they totally act different. Uh, it was almost like sight fishing for them. They just weren't the right size. So I will pursue that more. I want to pursue big night dam crappies. I, I know guys catch really big crappie at night. There's a secret to it. I just don't know it. If you know some tips, leave them in the comments down below, please. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe. I think this year might be the year we hit a million subscribers on this channel. And I gotta think of something extra, extra tasty to do for the millionth subscription day. That's gonna be a big one. You guys let me know in the comments as well. What would be a superb million subscriber video? Alrighty, wishing you the best in all of your dangles, y'all. God bless you. See you soon.